and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another random champion casual Friday. If you haven't seen one of these before, basically what we're going to do is we're going to use this wheel of champions to determine our champion pairings and build decks around that. We're going to be spinning the wheel twice, getting two different champions, and then building a deck around that. We're going to be doing that three times. We're going to be playing three decks today. There's 75 uh, spots here on the wheel, one for each champion, and uh, whenever we spin it, it will give us one champion's name, and uh, we'll see who gets paired with who. Now we're about to spin the wheel. The wheel can be, or it is some bright lights. If bright lights bother you, you may want to look away. Uh, just as a warning. All right, but without further ado, let's go ahead and go. Let's see who we get. Lux. All right, Lux has been buffed to five mana, so that's cool. Let's see. We've been playing a little bit of Lux recently. Let's go ahead and see who we are going to pair with Lux for our first deck. Yasuo? All right, so we're gonna have a Yasuo Lux deck. So we'll go ahead and write that one down. Yasuo Lux. <laughs> That's what random champions are all about. Getting some uh, cool champion pairings. All right, Yasuo Lux, we'll have Ionia Demacia. Okay, we're gonna have another Demacia deck with Garen. And so we're going to see what champion's going to be paired with Garen. Who do we got? Karma. <laughs> it's just Demacia Ionia Day. All right, so we're going to see, is Yasuo Lux better or is uh, Garen Karma? Karma Garen? Give me Karma Garen. Karma Garen. Okay, so that's pretty crazy. Both Demacia Ionia, uh, both sets of like champions that have been buffed recently like karma and locks were six mana but down to five that's pretty funny <laughs> all right and our third pairing so those decks are probably going to be very similar <laughs> probably playing a lot of the same cards probably a lot of sharp sights twin disciplines Ooh, we get soraka okay we we tried soraka decks the other day that didn't do that well let's see who we can get with soraka that maybe we can get a better better pairing um, hopefully we don't play against too many dragons. Soraka's troublesome against dragons. Kindred. Oh, man. I've been really liking playing Kindred decks recently. I think Kindred's pretty underrated. So, Soraka Kindred. Okay. So, those are going to be our three decks. Yasuo Lux, Karma Garen, and Soraka Kindred. That's what random champion decks are all about. Now... Time for us to build the decks. We'll be right back. So those of y'all watching on, on YouTube, of course, we'll just skip ahead. You can think about what are these decks going to look like? How would you build the decks? And then, you know, of course, obviously, you're about to see what, what uh, our finished products look like, um, you know, for comparison sake. And, and, of course, leave those comments. Let me know if there's any differences or if you have uh, good ideas for um, upgrading the decks afterwards. But um, here we go. We'll be right back with some Yasuo Lux. And we're back here with some Yasuo Lux. Uh, different ways we could go around building this, you know, kind of looking at uh, maybe playing a good amount of units and units with recall like Navori Conspirator and Solar or uh, Solitary Monk, um, and you know, being able to turbo up your Yasuo using that because you know, you, to level up Yasuo, you need to recall five plus units. Um, but we didn't go that way. Instead, I decided to go really spell heavy because, of course, Lux is our other champion. It wants us to cast a lot of spells. And specifically with the spells, I wanted to focus on the two mana spells because Sharp Sight and Twin Disciplines are so good. And then you also have Steel Tempest, um, which is a staple for Yasuo. Retreat Return, also good for Yasuo. So lots of two mana spells. And then pairing that with four mana spells because two plus four, of course, is six, and Lux wants you to cast six plus mana of spells. So if we can just kind of pair our twos and fours together, then you know each each combination of those will get a final spark. So that's what it kind of went with, is twos and fours for the spells. And then since we're going more spells, I want to go less units because then we can use Vanguard Redeemer to maybe help us find Yasuo. Because, you know, it just says when it's summoned, draw a unit if an ally died this round. So that's any unit in your deck that can be champions. And because we always talk about how with Yasuo decks, they really struggle when you don't have Yasuo. Well, maybe Vanguard Redeemer can help us out just a little bit there of, um, you know, maybe we can draw a Yasuo with that. So that's that's kind of the plan. We still do have 19 units, 21 spells, so we still do have a pretty good amount of units, but 
you know, we're going to be trying that. Uh, one Yone, one Mina Swiftfoot at the top end to help out the Yasuo. Uh, we have three Concussive Palms in here that we can recall. We have you know, our Homecomings and Retreats that recall our own things. We can pick the Concussive Palm back up so we can use that again for uh, extra stuns and recalls. Or, I guess, extra stuns for Yasuo. And that's kind of the plan. You know, we'll have Eye of the Dragon with the Draglings early. The Draglings, you know, getting in combat, dying really easily. Like, that will hopefully enable the vanguard redeemer also have an egghead researcher that we can have that or shadow assassin like either of those we can play those have those die for vanguard redeemer and that's kind of the deck so we'll give it a try we'll tr we'll see how we do here with yasuo lux playing on it over in normal that's what we usually do with these random champions combinations because you know, they are kind of random and we're just trying to see if we can uh do some cool stuff so Try not over in normal. You still play against really good decks in normal, just like you do in ranked. Um, okay, we'll send Yone back, and I think we'll just keep the rest. These all look pretty good. Yeah, you trying to use Vanguard Redeemer as a knockoff Yasuo boat. <laughs> yeah, I... I did notice that too, though. It could be pretty difficult to enable, to actually activate Eye of the Dragon with our spells in the deck. Um, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, I really hope that they actually make, they that Raya will actually print a real Yasuo boat. Like, like just, Yone could be the exact same card and just say draw Yasuo. And I think that would be a really nice upgrade. I don't think they have to change anything about Yone. My plans. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Wow, they didn't get the Hexite Crystal immediately on the very first uh, predict. That's new. They basically always get that on the very first predict. So that's new. The dark beckons. Yeah, that was pretty crazy how they printed a Shen boat, right? Everybody like wants a Yasuo boat and everything, and they're like, okay, you want an an Ionia champion to have a boat? Oh, you want a four mana Ionia champion to have a boat? Well, how about Shen? Shen gets a boat, and everybody's like, no, we meant Yasuo. <laughs> Wrong champion. I think we'll just take the uh, take the three. So we can play Yasuo this round and, you know, have Twin Disciplines help protect Yasuo. Bar hand looking pretty good. Got both champs. Got some protection. And my opponent's just playing just a whole bunch of 1-3s, 2-2s, and 2-3s. Like... I only have two guards left in hand. Everywhere I go, the light we can, we, I think our champions can defeat two twos meal. and two threes and all that kind of stuff. But he never gets any I think. No. Why would you? Huh? They could have just blocked Yasuo and saved one life. They could be at seventeen instead of sixteen. They blocked the three power instead of four power. Echo. Things aren't gonna improve themselves. I want this music volume out just a tad. I don't know, things could kind of improve, I suppose. See what I've learned? I do my own stunts. You know, and you're always bragging about it. Shine with me. 
Maybe I should be throwing like the Eye of the Dragon in front of the Tutu so that then we play Vanguard Redeemer. But since we don't really have to do that, we're playing two spells, so we're getting the Dragling. Next round, we can attack with the Dragling. Okay, so they have Chrono Break. Or they like have nothing and just really need to predict. Those are the two options. Or I guess both could be true. I think I have to have a spell shield. Alright, so I'll use this to get rid of the spell shield. Like, you know, I guess I could will of Ion you know, use Will of Ionia to get rid of the spell shield and and then do that. And maybe that's just better. But I didn't really want to cast the Will of Ionia. Gonna find a gift for Renekton, right, Arda? One girl wrecking crew. Aren't they doing stuff? <clears throat> Kinda. They're kind of doing stuff. Sivir's not leveled up right now, so it's not going to be giving everything quick attack. I don't need a plan. Thankfully. I like doing this and not using Will of Ionia because this is six mana of spells. Yeah, and so I'm just going to save Will of Ionia in case we really need it. Uh, Alright, so now that, that just kills that. I don't really care if that Vanguard Redeemer dies. But it does level up. Sivir, but... Well, I assume it levels up Sivir, I guess. Actually, maybe it doesn't. Actually, I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't. Alright, cool. I mean, no real reason to play Eye of the Dragon. I mean, we just get a 1-3 in play, I guess. See? We just covered it up anyway. Now we have six mana worth of spells. So we will attack with all of you. Except for you. We should have this one. I would think. Worth my while. So down to eight. Alright. Well my plan was to Will of Ionia there. Uh, Sivir to kill it, and then, you know, Sharp Sight. We each hold a world within. Sharp Sight, make the final spark, then shoot Vi. 
Oh, that's what's up. Here's the fun part. Trouble coming at ya. Mina. Man, my opponent must be pretty sad cuz we've just Yeah, I'm sorry opponent. <laughs> like they they keep on like trying to attack and we've stunned, you know, like four attackers now. You know, we played like four Steel Tempest and you know, Will Vionias and they just can't. <laughs> Now he also does nine or five damage to that. And there we go. Okay, so everything worked out perfectly that game. Like we had both champions, we had really good spells. That's the way that we're gonna be winning. Braum. So they're Braum with Bilgewater. Seem like Braum Kench. There's no Kench. Just Braum. Um, I like Yasuo, I like Lux. I mean, honestly, I like Concussive Palm too, but let's kind of see if we find something a little cheaper. Or, you know, the most expensive card in our deck. You know, one of the two. Ah, Poros. That makes sense. What's the Bilgewater Poro? I don't remember what the Bilgewater Poro does. Oh, is that Plunder Poro? Ah, Jagged Taskmaster. Okay, well that's a great start for them. Round two, an online Jagged Taskmaster round two. Yeah, great start. We could lose this. No two mana spells for me. I really want Steel Tempest, Twin Discipline, Sharp Sight. Eh, that's not really a two mana spell. Could definitely be another Jagged Taskmaster that they'll be playing. Alright, I guess so. I guess not. But I don't want to put this in their hand, back in their hand. I don't want to put that back in their hand. I don't want to put that. You know, like all three of these are good to put back in their. You know, good for them. So it looks like the Sinister Poro is our winner. So unfortunately, it's only one spell for me to cast because the other one just gets canceled out. The dragon binds us. So I don't know if we're gonna be playing two spells in a round in the near future. Six mana. Researcher is a good draw. Just can block for me. I kind of think I should stun that. I guess I could recall it, but I, I did the stun so I could have the 3 2 blocker, of course. I guess I could recall it also. I can really keep up. This is my choice. Wow. That's a card. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Let's brighten up their day. Huh. I'm surprised they blocked that. Surprised they didn't just take three and go down to twelve. Always chasing after this one. 
So if my plan's Will of Ionia, means I have six other mana. I could play Yasuo, but I think... Okay, cool. Okay, we're gonna put that back in their hand. I don't want them having that thing. Trust me, they add up. Shine with me. Mm, maybe just. Oh wow, that puts me down to four. I'm at eight. They've been kind of killing me pretty quickly here. You cannot escape. All right, it's good to have a second one of those, so the next one will be Steel Tempest. So there's our Yasuo boat. No, they took my Mina Swift Foot? Come on! Dude, this game has been insane for them. That double make it rain, that... Harp, the monster harpoon, the you know online jagged task ma master on two. They took that card. They beat me a swift foot. That's insane. Is just an opportunity to shine even brighter. GGs. Okay, so we got Brom Trindamir now. So this is going to be a ramp deck, probably War Mother's Call. So it could be a good Will of Ionia matchup. I think we keep a Lux, but I don't love anything else. Okay, okay. Unfortunately, I didn't play any denies. This would have been a good deny matchup. Last game, we needed Nopify for that <laughs> sleight of hand. That was a pretty sweet sleight of hand. Take it. Could block with the one three and plus three plus zero and make it you know make eye of the dragon a four three. But I don't think we really need to do that. We can just take it. I just really I assume that they have Avalanche. It's my assumption. Like I play the other Shadow Assassin, they Avalanche. Um Still, maybe I should do it, because now they can Catalyst Veons. Yeah, I guess I still should have done it and had them play Avalanche instead of Catalyst. Shh. There it is. Oh, Marksman. Okay. Gotcha. That's pretty good. Shadow. The order rewards its faithful. I, of course, want to save the spell mana and play spells after we have Lux in play, not before we have Lux in play. Not too worried about my life total right now. For the honor of my house. Let the light guide you. Snow buries all. All right, so I can go down to eleven by taking this, or we could like block here, retreat, return. I kind of like that. That's So that's three mana spells for Lux. That's two spells for a Draggling next round. They could hurt me pretty bad if they have an Ice Shard, I suppose. So the thing about them blocking with Scarthane Stefan on a Draggling that does stars. turn the Stefan into four health, which is a good amount of health for a final spark. Did 
detain. We can't really have that. I mean, we can. No, because then they could silence. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna will. Yeah, I think I think that's probably just the play. Because yeah, so we could deep meditation. We create the final spark. They take the lux. I'm just scared of them like then silencing and then we never get lux back. You never play around silence. Because the other thing that's that's kind of it annoying if we just deep meditation right there is, um, you know, then if they use, you know, like obviously for all your Demacia has a lot of like ways to increase the health, and so even though I could final spark it, but then you know they use you know sharp side and all that kind of stuff and all the for all your things and just keep increasing the health. It's annoying to try to kill it. And I just like having my Lux. Two. Pledge to Sejuani's service. Death is like the wind, always by my side. They haven't been as rampy and as War Mother call like that I expected. Yeah, I didn't expect Omen Hawks and Scarthane step ins and a lot of these smaller units. This is my choice. Because so, Troll Chance pretty likely. But we'll force him to use it. That's pretty likely. If I don't play the Yasuo right here, I could have had, you know, like double twin disciplines get a final spark. Probably, but I didn't really want to pass because I, I felt like if I, you know, I had the six mana, if I pass, I think they also pass. Um, and then I'm wasting three mana. And so I, I played the Yasuo, and it does mean that, you know, this isn't fantastic against final spark, but. No troll chance. I, I think I said fantastic against final spark, but I meant fantastic against troll chance. No troll chance. Not all mean well. Is that game or? Ah, they had the silence. If I would have let them capture Lux, they would have silenced. I called it. Jeez. Zareth Ziggs. Okay. This is probably going to be a little bit more competitive. It'll be a little tougher challenge for us. We again had a really good hand of... Um, that we have been having good hands of like curving out into both champions and a bunch of spells, stuff like that. Lux at 5 mana has been looking pretty good. But a lot of these games are going like this. Eye of the Dragon, into Shadow Assassin, and Yasuo Lux. But we got our one of Yone, one of Swiftfoot. Rev that baby up and let's see what it can really do. Don't worry, boss. It goes to 11. Light the fuse. I would have definitely traded my 2-1 for the 3-2. I will play my part. Okay, so we can concussive palm and pick up concussive palm and stuff like that. Alright, I think I'm gonna play this. Like I'm wasting the three mana anyway. I think I'm just going to play that and not waste three mana and just have that out here to block and everything. 
think that's better than wasting three mana. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Hmm. All right, isn't the best setup? But Lux is pretty powerful. Pretty nice as overwhelm. Alright, cool. So it's two spells for us getting a draggling. That thing turns into a 5 5. So if we retreat return, we make two draglings for blocking purposes. I think we do that. And obviously the final spark. Final spark can take out Ziggs, but then they can just play new Ziggs. If it was important, they should have built it better. Maybe we take out that 5-4. No, probably got to take out Ziggs. Oh, uh, it's. Is it better to put in the Shadow Assassin? Pushing my limit. Very happy to draw another Lux. Very happy to have Prismatic Barrier. Oh, that hurts. My plan, of course, is like to stun the 6-6, six, six, or the 7-7, seven, seven. like we're going to be stunning that thing. Okay, homecoming, not bad. Light the fuse. Because if I do this, yeah, my Tail of the Dragon just gets, like, I don't actually get to keep the Tail of the Dragon. Draglings, you cost two mana. Let's try this. We each hold the world within. Play another spell here if I want draglings, but I don't really want to play any of these spells. Maybe I should have just got Yasuo in play instead of playing this other Eye of the Dragon. Of those things. It's all about the arsenal, right? Arsenal is the scary card. Cool. That's not a the arsenal. I go where the road takes me. I'm doing good. Our RPG Prince doing good. That was rude. Follow the wind, but watch your back.
Good, good. Oh, so they, okay, so they can't cast the arsenal, right? Yone is safer than Mina Swiftfoot, considering that we'd still have Steel Tempest available just in case we need it. So I guess we'll go with the safer card right now. Um, all right, so the first one does... So it matters which one you click first. The first one's going to do two damage, and then the second one, Yasuo will be leveled up, and then it'll do five damage. So two damage here, and then five damage here. You have taken a dark path. You never did believe me. Matters which, which one you click first, click second. I will follow this path until the end. Alright, Yone helping out Yasuo. That could definitely be a problem. That could definitely be a problem. If they can uh, remove this, you know, if they have like the remove, kill your landmark deal four, they can like kill this, kill, you know, which this kills Eye of the Dragon, deal four to like the Lux or the other Eye of the Dragon, stun my 6-6. Six, six. Wow, yeah, they do. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a problem. So yeah, I could have stunned the Zareth and dealt five damage to Zareth, which wouldn't have killed Zareth, but uh, we would have only taken four, so then they would have had a four four and a six one. I decided them just to have them have a six six instead. So if I go Swiftfoot, kill this, then they play Arsenal with Life Steal. That's, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so, so you're saying that I should have just done the six six, the four four, because then we go Mina next turn, and it doesn't matter that they have the two things, because then it just makes a better Mina and, and kills both of them. Yeah, yeah, I guess that makes that makes sense. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Now where do I leave that beaker? No, I don't think attacking with Yone is really worth it there because they may make a mistake and play something. You know, if I give them priority, they could play something and then we play Mina. Um, but if I just attack with Yone, then it l lets them off the hook. Well, that's pretty nice. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Wow. Everything burst speed. I guess, you know, I, I planned on doing that first, then Mina here. Not fear. The spirit gives to those who listen. The order rewards its faithful. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Night falls. It is time. Face your fate. That block's there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Worth both our lives. Nothing will stand in my way. Okay. Now there's Aerith.
So they likely open attack, and they they open attack, then I have to Will of Ionia and Steel Tempest. The 266 overwhelms. Yeah, I think I put this back in their hand. The journey doesn't get you the rope. Hopefully we can survive this now and, you know, come back and attack. They're going to be in the random countdown. Awesome. Oh! Come on! It stuns those two, so we saw that we have the 7-6. Alright. Wow. Okay, we took the scenic route to get there. But we ended up getting there. Three and one for Yasuo Lux. Uh, action Echo. Probably going to be pretty tough. Action Echo pretty good. I want a Mulligan Lux. I would like Yasuo, though. This seems like a pretty good Yasuo matchup. Oh, we have Eye of the Dragon, or Egghead Researcher in this deck. <laughs> I said Eye of the Dragon, but Egghead Researcher. How about that? Good people don't look the other way. Fused Firebrand. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight! Action so good. This is justice. Action so good. Cool, I bet. Wow. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight! Villains beware. That's a heck of a start, too, for auction. Maybe no pump spells? Oh. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. They did have a pump spell. Yeah, I saw your donation deck feature eyes. Yep. And Scorpy just gave me a new one. Let the light guide you. This is not going to be an easy game to win. It never is against action, vagabond, vagabond. I don't want to eat whatever woke you up. They cannot hide. Hug it out. They've used a lot of cards. They have oh used a God. lot of cards. It's too late for you. Son of a busted. Huh. 
remember the fallen. Was I expecting that to work like that? We've been drawing a lot of cards though with our Vanguard Redeemers and everything. I'll just pass. I don't want something to happen where they're fight spell killing my Lux. It's a prismatic barrier, but then again, we can just play, replay new Lux. Not drawing spells. So we have 13 total followers. We've drawn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've drawn 11 of our 13 followers. There's only two other followers in the entire deck. 25 more cards. The dark <laughs> one more follower in the entire deck is just my last egghead researcher. That's it. We have drawn every other one. <laughs> <laughs> Night falls. We strike. Yeah, this would be a good Green Glade Elder Hand, that's for sure. Be a good Yasuo hand. Hey, if it isn't that cat I rescued this morning. Play this. We have six mana. Concussive Palm Steel Tempest. That's six mana. Final Spark. This is my future. So would give them, uh, you know, the predict card. Okay, or not. Counting down their Warlord's Horde. That's pretty cool with Chrono Break. You know, like, maybe that's the plan, is, like, that thing with Chrono Break. Okay, it was Crying Sands. So they're shuffling. We'll really use a Yasuo. I want one of my things to die so I can Vanguard Redeemer. You'd have been really good to have last round deep meditation. You'd think they'd just be drawing two again. I do my own stunts. Okay, so that's obviously Chrono Break. So you're at three right now. So we'll stun you. We'll you would test my eat, seal. eat. Take five. I want. You cannot I, don't, escape. I don't want them to resummon that thing. It's too late for you. Maybe I should just have my like Vanguard Redeemer block the three three instead of Pushing my limit. instead of doing this. Yasuo. Yeah, we have basically no other units in our deck. <laughs> There's. There's three Yasuos and two other units in the entire deck out of the th 22 cards. There's one Egghead Researcher, one Lux, and three Yasuo. <laughs> That's it. And then uh, 17 spells. 
So yeah, it's pretty likely we're drawing Yasuo. So we know they have Chrono Break. I am not killing Echo and letting them get Echo back. Glad they haven't found a Hexite Crystal yet. But it's not like we don't have more units to play. So Rand has our deck has 17 spells. <laughs> two Yasuos, a Lux, and an Egghead Researcher. I always love Iterative Improvement Station Archivist. Their deck looks really good. Like this is a good Echo deck. Having action as well, because action's awesome. Their deck's looking really good. Okay, so we can kind of imagine that's that's probably Hexite Crystal. Oh, that was Chrono Break, but it was fleeting. And they said they just so they have even more Chrono Breaks in their deck. Interesting, interesting. I am really dumb. <laughs> I just realized that right afterwards that I was gonna just burn a card. That was really dumb. Burn a card like that. The retreat return would be perfectly fine. For our allies. Tell me. I love that. That was really bad. Yeah, I mean, you just want to block with that ghost because of Chrono Break. Like, Come on, Cat. I'm just playing we new Echoes. Getting that free Predict card is really nice. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? believe I don't have that retreat return. I don't know. I see every move. You could fairly easily just have another, you know, find another chrono break. I get rid of both of these, they just have another chrono break. Is 
So they have six more Chrono Breaks in their deck. First Chrono Break, not too big of a deal. Second Chrono Break is where we start getting into a problem. Brother, what have you become? If I told you, would you listen? I guess the second one's not, probably not that that bad either. Alright, so there's five other Chrono Breaks in their deck. up with that retreat return earlier. I guess maybe I should have been looking for trying to kill them with final sparks and fallen felines. It's just a frustrating game. I really wish I could just replay everything I did here. I, got, I, I had the tools to win this game, but we're going to lose. I was just fr <laughs> frustrated just talking about how many followers we were drawing, how we couldn't draw any spells ever, which... Of course, we wanted the spells a lot more than we wanted the followers. Do not interfere. You cannot escape. Welcome to try. Because of Hexite Crystals, we can't go too low. But all they need is one more Chrono Break, and then that's game. So we could handle two Chrono Breaks, but just couldn't handle the third. Well, really, we handled three Chrono Breaks, so they Chrono Breaked at the end of last round, and then two more this round. And if they have a third this round... Yeah. I'm sorry, that was a poorly played game by me. We shouldn't have lost that. We also shouldn't have drawn every single unit in the deck, in the top half of the deck. But I shouldn't have lost that. Probably could have focused on killing them a little bit more. Instead of like waiting on, I waited on uh, Yone or uh, Yasuo before Yone Swiftfoot. I probably should have just been playing Yone Swiftfoot earlier. Not really waiting on that, pressuring them. There are so many things I could have done that game. That's that's one that you that you want to have back. But that's one that you just you know learn from. When that's that's what makes it really good playing one deck a lot. Uh, for those of y'all watching later on YouTube, you know instead of so, when you switch off decks so much like I do and you just play. Um, all sorts of different decks all the time and you don't really focus on any particular one deck you have games like this but if you play one deck a lot like if we're going to be playing this Yasuo Lux deck if I'd be playing this for a couple of weeks on end you know I'd have that game that we just played and now next time that I play against something like that you know I have a lot more information in my mind of like all right I know like this is how the game can play out so make sure like this is how we could lose if, if like these kind of things happen so make sure you don't uh, have the game play out like that and so on um, and you know, you just get, that's, that's how the experience helps you with a deck. So even like if there's a deck that you enjoy playing and you like, and you're playing it, but you're losing some, just keep learning from it and keep, keep trying. And you're going to be improving while you play. All right. But that's going to be it here though for, uh, Yasuo Lux. Uh, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, as always hit those like, button, hit that like button and leave those comments and let me know how you like the random champions. And hopefully y'all enjoyed these games. We did have, yeah, that game was nail-biting. We did have a lot of nail-biting games in here, and so hopefully y'all enjoy them. Some went our way, uh, some didn't like that one, but um, overall, good 3-2 record. All right, uh, but as always, thank you so much for watching. Can never say that enough, and we'll see you for the next video.